What's up, everyone? I hope everyone's doing great. I uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was going to download some music on my computer, and unfortunately, I downloaded a really bad virus, uh, some sort of Trojan. Uh, and before I knew it, my computer shut down, wouldn't turn back on. Uh, when I finally did get it turned back on, it gave me a black, black screen. Uh, really freaked me out. I had a bunch of important stuff on the computer. I worked on the computer for about 12 hours, finally got it to boot up, and as quickly as I could, I put everything onto a USB drive, and uh, that's that, and uh, still couldn't get it fixed, so I decided it was a good time to go ahead and format the hard drive, start with a fresh, clean copy of Windows 10 64, and uh, you know, that's, that's what I ended up doing. In the process, I decided it was a good idea to maybe go ahead and set up a RAID 0. Uh, thought it was going to be a pretty easy, you know, I've done it before, simple as can be, uh, but for some reason, it wanted to give me issues this time. Um, for those who don't know, I'm on an X99 platform running the 5820K, uh, and I am running Windows 10 uh, 64-bit uh, Pro. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so it just kept giving me the same error over and over. Uh, I tried cleaning the disks, tried formatting it, but it just kept telling me Windows can't be installed on this drive. Windows can't be installed on drive zero on partition one. I tried formatting it, tried creating a new partition. Uh, nothing was fixing the issue. So uh, I dug around for a couple of days and I came up with a pretty simple fix. Um, and yes, before you say I tried control zero, wasn't working for me and it doesn't work for most people on X99 unless you do this one little trick. And I finally got it to boot up into the RAID uh, like the Intel RAID tool. So, um, hope this guy, hope this video helps you guys. And, uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get to you. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you guys. First, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you're on the latest BIOS. Check your motherboard's website. This just ensures that that is not the issue that you're running into. Makes things simpler for you in the long run. First, what you're going to want to do is go to Advanced, go to the Boot menu, and on the Fast Boot, click on Disable. This will ensure that you have enough time to get into the Intel RAID controller and that you don't miss it, because usually it's only a couple of seconds until you don't have that option anymore. Uh, the next step that you're going to want to do is go into Compatibility Support Mode, and on the Boot Device Control, select Legacy. On the Boot from Storage Devices, select Legacy. Make sure they're all legacy. Don't know why, don't really care. This seems to be what works and it fixed a lot of problems for me. Uh, you can go even go as far as going into, the, into your boot options and making sure that it goes and boots from your CD. The next step you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to your easy tuning wizard. From there, you're gonna select a RAID. It will show you what you're going to make a RAID with. Uh, it's already selected the two disks that I have in my drive. Uh, for me, I'm choosing the super speed, which will be RAID 0. Uh, so I'm going to select that and hit next. And then it's going to give me two options. Do I want RAID 0 or RAID 5? For me, I'm going with RAID 0. Then I hit next. Now it's just saying uh, you're about to do what you're about to do. Do you want to continue? For me, I definitely want to continue. So I'm going to hit next. And now it's telling me all the data on the drives will be permanently deleted. Ensure that you back up all your data before using the app. Do you want to continue? You hit next and then you hit finish and it will basically restart and that shows what the total will be and now the system will reset okay so now that your system is resetting the next step is basically to wait until you see your boot screen um, as soon as you see your boot screen you're going to want to press control and zero just press it a bunch of times that's what I do until it pops up and uh, once it does we will tell you what to do. So here we are. Uh, what you want to do is you want to create a RAID volume, but first I want to delete what all is on the drive just in case I didn't do that before. Uh, it doesn't hurt to do this. So you want to select the disk that you're going to clean, select it, and uh, now you're going to want to delete. Uh, it says warning all data will be deleted. That's fine. Go to create RAID. You can name the volume whatever you want to name it. Uh, RAID levels are selected, stripe size, you can Google that, but for me it's 120 kilobytes, that seems to be the standard. 
the capacity is going to be the total of both of them combined uh, and that's really it um, for me is 447 gigabytes uh, warning all data blah, blah, blah. it's fine whatever um, and that's it next you're going to want to exit out and save and then the system will reboot again and then what you want to do next is boot from the CD itself and go on and continue your installation and hopefully everything will work all right and well this is the last step uh, so I'm going to just show you guys how it turned out for me I went in Windows 10 Pro next and uh, I went to go set everything back up cross my fingers after hours and hours of trying to get this to work I clicked next and it finally worked uh, for me I wanted to make it all of it my hard drive I didn't want to make any partitions so here we go everything worked everything was fine after lots and lots of research and work and blah 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 and why wasn't my control zero working turns out all you gotta do is that simple fix hope this helped you guys I know it sure helped me I really wish there was a video on YouTube helping me at the beginning because this would have saved me lots and lots of hours of reading uh, apparently a lot of people are having this problem with x99 I'm not sure why really weird don't know but guess what it's working don't want to do it again hopefully I don't have to um, the only thing I can say now is guys with RAID 0 make sure you back up your stuff regularly uh, it's not a hundred percent you know RAID 0 tends to lose data or so I hear I've never lost any personally but it can happen so do it at your own risk and uh, back up your stuff and back up your system often and uh, yeah that's it well I hope you guys have a good day and hopefully I will see you guys at the next video don't forget to like comment or subscribe and I will see you ladies later